So, you guys kind of surprised me on this, but a lot of you actually wanted to see a bow hunt with the new tracers, or at least the new bow and new bow sight, which I can actually understand, given how yesterday's little hunt with it went. If you haven't seen that video, uh, I'd recommend checking it out. I'll see if I can remember to link it at the end of this video, because uh, that was pretty neat. But we're here on Layton, and we're just going to try probably all kinds of shots. Close range, long range, try to get tracers to actually be effective, like... Here in the fog, it might actually be. And I don't know. We were fairly effective at about 70. And the wind is good this time, so we'll just move into 60 to see what happens. And, I mean, I was hoping for a bull elk. I don't see any. Oh, yeah, I do. Well, that's better than nothing, I guess. We'll try to get in close for him. Actually, since I have the 420s loaded anyway, and this is going to be plenty quiet enough, I think... So for 0 for 40, it's almost no difference. And the wind's blowing a little left. So I probably need to be there. But that looks good. I think... Wow. That spooked the elk. That's kind of weird, but... The tracer actually helped. I had no idea where that hit. And I could see it was like kind of high chest-ish. I keep forgetting this place, though. Uh, we're gonna go try somewhere else. I totally forgot. Tracks are not wanting to show up here, so I don't want to actually hit an elk and then not find it. So, maybe it was just the angle we had, but I thought the tracer was, like, maybe here. Still good, though. I mean, that the sight and the bow are really, really good. I like them. That's two for two on the uh, kind of long-range lung shots. But yeah, let's, let's go somewhere where we can potentially track things if we hit them. And actually, if you're curious, that's right here in Chila, where tracks aren't showing up, specifically this side of the lake, kind of like the south side. But we'll try up here. I have a tent here for a reason. This could at least be interesting. I don't know about taking a frontal shot on an elk, but we'll try it. And I wish I wrote down who commented, but the zeroing distance actually matters. So if I zero for 60 versus when I zero for 20, you can see like how far the arrow has to drop. So we gotta be pretty much dead on. That took forever to get there. It actually got him pretty good though. It felt like like what I can see there with the tracer, it looks too high, but I don't know. Maybe we got through like top of a lung and into intestines. I wish I, I really hope they update the tracers, because I just don't feel like they do enough right now. Like at least if you're shooting any kind of range like that, you barely can tell where you hit and then the animal's running off. It'd be nice to just really be able to see the impact so if you know, or so that you know if you made a good shot or not. So what the heck, that's like in his neck? And it was his vertebrae on top of one lung, so it was too high. Just luckily got that little bit there. So I think just because of what we've seen so far, I want to try to get some like closer range hopefully broadside shots just to get to see the actual tracer impact a little better that might be a good candidate actually Let's see if we can get over there and get in position to maybe double lung him if we can i guess that one's just as good because the wind ended up shifting i just sort of spooked them all out of here and my luck would be every other one comes back close range and the level four that i wanted to shoot is nowhere to be found but I'm kind of more interested in just, like, seeing the tracer impact where I want it, or at least see it after the impact, kind of. And then, because we're doubling a moose, we know it's not going to drop, we should get to see kind of, like, the animal running off with the tracer, which is sort of the cool part. At least partially, you know, more realistic. You don't drop anything with a bow for the most part in real life. So, now, because he has bodyguards... I guess. Maybe we'll even call the other one in by doing this. But, try to create a little space. That should work. Don't move. I feel like we got so much penetration you can barely see that one. Bet you that was my moose. But, I mean it worked pretty good. As far as the bow is concerned in the sight. We got really high reviews of them, just the tracers need a little tweaking. Because, like, as I'm sure you can tell, every time I shoot one, I'm kind of, like, a little bit disappointed. 
at least now you can see it fine. It was maybe because he like ducked and leaned forward a bit. It was like the entire knock was through the hide there, but uh, yeah, 100% quick kill, 26 meters. The bow sight, I mean, it just makes it, it makes bow hunting, I don't want to say too easy, because the one thing with the Hunter Call of the Wild, like, bow hunting is entirely unnecessary. So, the fact that it kind of gets easier, I don't mind so much. But that ability to be that accurate with your range estimates, it's insane. But this is kind of the real thing. I wanted to get a little bit of, like, shooting deer out of a tree stand, and I'm going to make this quick, because... I know the wind is going to try to shift south and make this a lot more difficult. But ideally we get, you know, kind of close range. And that's a decent little buck. He'll make gold anyhow. Don't know if there's others. And a lot of times when I sit here and call, there must be a whitetail feed zone, like, back here somewhere. So they kind of show up. So that's 40. Even that, I mean, with this site, shouldn't be an issue. I'll even zero for 40 just to make life easier. Probably got to go a little right. Well, that was unfortunate. Don't worry. <laughs> Quick follow-up. How are you guys not even... I guess they're all fleeing. How are you already coming back? I wonder if I can get that. So we gotta be left. That's too far back. Probably maybe got intestines with that. Mmm, she's running like it's a flesh wound. Or is she? That's hard to say. I mean, the bows will kill the deer quite quickly. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm using 600 grain arrows, I think. Oops. That'll kill her that much more quickly anyway. So now, maybe a proper test with the real arrows. Be a little bit left. Well, that worked just as good. So I don't want to kill everything here, and there weren't any other interesting bucks. So we'll probably go down, uh, I think it's Runaki Western, whichever one is the outpost on the lake down there, because that's a, another little spot for Blacktail and Elk. So, proper arrows. Did just fine. Obviously, this was the drop shot, because wrong arrows, and it would not have been with the right ones. I think I compensated too far, because I needed to aim right, if I'm remembering correctly. And then we gotta go find that so, well, we don't have to. Consect's not a thing, but we'll find her anyway. And by find her, I mean look for the glowy thing in the distance. And she literally only made it like 100 yards. I don't know if she started to come back. Like, I felt like she was going to get further than that. Guess that's 600 grain arrows working in our favor. And yeah, that was just way too far back. A solid score of zero because no integrity. So yeah, uh, is this Renaki Western? It is. Uh, hello? Eh, it's probably that small buck. We'll go down here, because I want to maybe get an elk out of a tree stand if they're in the right area. Alright, I think I got the timing down on this. Their zone's about to end, but the wind is finally shifting south. Like, I've been sitting here watching these elk in their drink zone for forever, just waiting for the wind to make it so they could actually come in. Because I think, at least as the tracers are now, quite honestly, closer range shots are probably better. I mean, as far as testing the bow, long range shots are fine, but really the biggest thing I wanted to see was how the tracers work, and, you know, I'm still hoping for an improvement. I kind of saw it yesterday when we shot the road here, but I wanted to get a better look, because that was sort of just a, a single shot look at him. But the nice thing is, at least kind of, this dude's actually cooperating. That's an odd new glitch with the elk color. But we ought to be able to get a shot in there. Actually, I don't know what I'm using a rangefinder for. That's kind of the point of the site, isn't it? Yeah, we should be good. Wish I could see a little better. There you go. I love the fact that the sight spotting works with this as well. That's a little far right. I was kind of thinking about the wind and not the fact that he was 10 feet away nearly. But somehow, that actually worked out. I don't know I must have got liver, or... Yeah. Gosh. If you're curious, <laughs> the penetration with the new bow and the 600 grain arrows is a bit ridiculous. 
I don't know how, like, I didn't catch a shoulder or anything. I guess right between the shoulder and the vertebrae. And all the way into the back leg. I'm gonna screenshot that. Yeah, uh, didn't really get... I mean, I guess I did see the tracer there. Sort of didn't notice it. But, um, that's kind of insane. Okay, I didn't fast travel here for this. But we're gonna try to get a duck with the tracer just to see it. I uh, don't really think we're going to get to see much out of the tracer. I mean, ideally we get one off the water and then can nail one out of the air, but that's probably not going to happen. But I at least want to definitely get one, so I'm taking a shot off the water first. And then I wanted to see if I could catch any elk that are kind of lingering in the zones up here. That can't be much more than 20. I think this time we're going to use the rangefinder just so we don't have to stand up. Would like a male, but also they're they're likely to take off, so we'll just try to get that. Okay, cool. And try to get one that's just sort of flying direct. Zero for forty, maybe. Yeah, see, if the tracer's actually lit up sooner, and I had like some idea of where I was hitting, I'd have a much better chance at this. But like legit, I can't see them. But well, anyway, we did get a duck with the tracer. Nice long shot, actually. And do we have any elk or anybody hanging out here still? Okay. I guess maybe moose out of a tripod could be fun. Ooh. Okay. That freaked me out for a second because I thought he was going to be a five. That's a big moose. Look at the brow tan in his right side. I kind of wonder if that's a respawn. Uh, looks like he's coming in. So this tent right here, the first time I fast traveled to it after we put it up, I killed a 930 something out of it. And that's not too far away. And I would think had this guy been here a while, I would have ran into him at some point. I just hope I can make a good shot. I'd love to get just broadside because getting to see him run away with the tracer in would actually be really cool. I'm actually so disappointed that's only a four. Like, even if he wasn't going to make diamond, just to see a five with these really, really big brow tines. Because I want to say even my 992 didn't have those. But I should probably hit him with another call soon. We'll see if he stops again. Just to keep me interested. And then really, I mean, the wind's not great. But we should try to get a little range on this if he wants to go broadside again. That'll be 940, I bet. Or at least close to it. So 0 for 20, just so we have to deal with a little bit of drop on the site. Just saw something moving through back there. But I want a broadside shot, so that would work. If he wants to cooperate, not going to call again, because the moment I put the bow down, yeah. Oh, nice. We could actually see that one, too. It didn't look like he was dying. I guess he is. Almost certainly only a single lung, so rip 940. I don't know what that was, but to be honest, I don't really think it matters. Not really much for a screenshot here. Like, it's a nice background, but... By the time you can actually see the actual palmate, there's not much there. So, we'll just do this. That was double lung? Ah, I used the wrong arrows. Jeez, if I could stop doing that today, that would be nice. <laughs> it all makes sense. I mean, it's nice that I got the double lung out of it. Sucks that I totally forgot the switch. I don't know why I loaded 420s, though, because I had the 300s for a duck. Anyway. I'm going to figure out what the score of that would have been real quick, but it's... Maybe in the 930s. Would have been 936, actually, so... I think it's still, like, top five true moose I've shot. I'm gonna mount him just because he's got the ridiculous brow tines, but... That, uh, that shows how often I've bow hunted in this game. The multiple times I have done that using the wrong arrows. That kind of sucks. I wish I could have got the full score and we did actually make the shot there, but... You know, it wasn't a diamond, so... What do you do? And I don't even know where I'm going to put that in the lodge. I don't think we'll go back right now. But that was good. 
I hope they update tracers. Like, that last shot, we actually got to see it. Um, but still. I think if they were a little... A little more obvious in flight, it would be a lot more fun to use them. But especially if they do that. But even if not, I think I still intend to at least do some more bow hunting on the channel. Because that was fun. Getting to shoot the roe deer yesterday really got me going. And by the way, if you want to check that out, uh, link will be on screen in a second. But, uh... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more, definitely let me know, because it's nice to play the game differently. But anyway, I think that's enough rambling. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.